welcome to lesson number six. In this video, we're going to talk about how to hold your oboe and how to play your very first note, C. Before we start, make sure your reed is soaking in your water cup, always before you're going to play. Let's quickly review how to put the oboe together. First, you're going to grab your lower joint carefully, and you're gonna find that thumb rest on the back. You're gonna take your left hand and hold it out like this. You're gonna place the thumb rest right in the middle of your index finger here, and you're just gonna carefully wrap your fingers around the oboe for a firm grip. Next, grab the bell with your right hand, and we're gonna carefully just twist the bell onto the lower joint. And remember, make sure that the brand name is lined up with the keys in the front, and those two holes are lined up with the sides of the bottom joint, just like that. Next, go ahead and hold the oboe from the bell in your left hand. Grab your upper joint carefully with your right hand, and we're gonna grip our right hand around the oboe just like this. It's okay to press down on those keys. And we're going to gently push and twist the upper joint into the lower joint. Remember, these two bridge keys here need to line up. So I'm gonna gently just push and twist and make sure those two bridge keys are lined up right there. Okay, and then make sure you've got all the keys in the front lined up with each other just like that. And then the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your reed and you are going to push it down on the top until it stops. Perfect. Okay, now before we talk about where our hands go, let's talk about how we sit when we play. Make sure if you're sitting in a chair that your back is not against the back of the chair. We don't wanna lean back like this. Back should be up straight, feet are flat on the floor. If you're a little shorter like me, you might wanna scooch up more to the edge of your chair. If you're a little taller, your feet might have to bend back a little bit to be flat and comfortable, that's totally fine. So make sure you're sitting up nice and tall, but don't be too tense, okay? Tall and relaxed. All right, first we're going to start with our left hand. Our left hand goes on the top part of the oboe on the upper joint, okay? It's gonna look something like this. Now everyone take your left hand and just let it hang at your side, swing it a little bit, and then just swing it up naturally nice and relaxed. Your hand should look something like this. Now when we have a relaxed hand and we swing it up, it shouldn't look like this, like a claw. We don't want a claw, we want a natural hand like we're holding a cup of coffee, okay? So again, swing that left hand up. All right, and your left hand should fit right on those, on those keys on the upper joint. Your thumb is your anchor, both of your thumbs. So your left hand thumb is gonna anchor you on the back of the oboe right under that back octave key. Now we're gonna go over the octave key in another video, but for now your thumb is gonna stay right here on the nice firm black part of the oboe under that octave key. Now each finger has a home key, okay? So you have your, your three fingers here. We're gonna call this first finger. First finger goes on this top key that has that open hole, okay? Now there's another little key right here. We're gonna skip that and your second finger is gonna go over the second key with the hole. You have another key right here. We're gonna skip that and your third finger is gonna go down on this third key with the hole. And then your pinky is gonna use these keys in the future. We're not gonna worry about these keys right now, but just let your pinky kind of hang out and rest right here, ready to go, once we learn how to use those keys. Notice how my fingers are nice and curved, okay? They're not straight and tense. We don't want straight fingers. We want nice curved fingers, just like this, okay? So my thumb is supported on the back. My fingers are going one, two, three, over those keys with the holes, and my pinky is ready to go down right here. So that's what your left hand should look like. Your right hand is gonna go on the bottom joint. Now, just like we did with the left hand, go ahead and relax your right hand, let it hang out the side, let it swing a little bit, and just swing that right hand up into a nice, relaxed, natural position like you're gonna drink some soda. Okay, your, your right thumb is gonna go under that thumb rest we talked about when we were putting the oboe together. So you're gonna rest the thumb rest about right here, right where your thumbnail meets your finger. 
skin. So it should look just like this. Okay, we don't want to have it in this part of our hand because then we won't be able to press the keys down correctly. So it's right on the nail part of your thumb. Okay, and just like we did with our left hand, we have our first finger right here. We're gonna skip this key for now. And our second finger is gonna go on that nice flat key here. There's another key right here. We're gonna skip that one again for now. And our third finger goes down here. And then just like our left hand, our right pinky needs to be ready to press these three keys down here. Okay? So that's our home keys. We've got first finger here, second finger here, third finger here, fourth finger or pinky ready to go down here on these keys. Then in our right hand, our home keys are one, two, and three. And then again, our pinky goes down here ready to press these keys. And remember, nice curved fingers like this. We don't want straight tense fingers like this because that'll start to hurt our hands over time and it also is gonna affect our sound. Okay, so go ahead and get those fingers over their home keys. Remember, secure your thumbs. All right, now let's talk about the angle of the oboe. Now, when we play, we wanna make sure that the oboe isn't in too far towards our chest. We want it out at a slight, relaxed, natural angle. Sometimes oboe players have a tendency to play out really far. We don't wanna have a far out angle. It's somewhere in between, nice, natural angle position. So go ahead and rest your reed on that lower lip, just like we talked about in our embouchure video, and find that nice natural position with your curved fingers. Very good. I think you're ready to learn your very first note. Let's talk about how we play our first note, C. For C, you're gonna press down two keys only. You're gonna use your first finger in both hands. That's it. So for C, you're gonna press down your first key up here with your first finger in your left hand, and you're going to press the first key down here with your right hand. Now, I'm not using any of these fingers, but when I'm playing, I should still have them ready to go over the home keys. We don't wanna play like this, because once we start adding other notes, we need to have our fingers ready to go. So keep these fingers relaxed and curved, hovering over the home keys but the only keys you're pressing down is first finger here and first finger here. So go ahead, press down those two keys, relax your fingers around the home keys, and see how that feels. Great, let's quickly review our embouchure. So our reed is gonna rest on the bed of our lower lip. Make sure it's secure, and picture your drawstring trash bag, and you're going to put the rest of your mouth over the reed. That's what you should look like. All right, let's try to play C. Let's listen to it first. Go ahead and hum that pitch. Okay, get those two fingers down for C. Set up your embouchure. Take a big breath, and we're gonna try to match that pitch for C. Ready? Let's try that again. Get your reed ready. Big breath. Great. Try that on your own a few times. Great. Now that you know how to play the note C, let's try to play it in rhythm. I'm gonna set my metronome to 80 beats per minute and we're gonna try to play four half notes. Remember, when we play a note, we need to use our tongue, just like we talked about in the other video. You're gonna to touch the tip of your tongue to the tip of the reed to start each half note. Remember, half notes get two beats each. Here we go. Get your fingers ready. First finger here, first finger here. Set your embouchure. Using your tongue, we're gonna to play four half notes. Here we go. One, two, three. Very good. Let's try 
that one more time. One, two, three. Very good. Now let's try to play quarter notes. Remember, quarter notes get one beat each. Using your tongue. Get your oboe ready. Let's play four quarter notes. One, two, three. Very good. Let's try that again. One, two, three. Can you try eight quarter notes? Here we go. One, two, three. Very good. That's how you play the note C. I'll see you in lesson number seven. Thank you.